infection for infection. Remote risk of cardiac. We prepare to know how to do cardiac. It's simple. Cardiac disinfection. Vitals. Starting with the heart sounds. Five heart sounds. Checking edema. And checking pulses. So you know cardiac. You do cardiac every day in clinic. You do it in co-op. You know GIGU. You do it every day in clinical and possibly in co-op as well. These are no-brainer assessments for you guys. It should just roll. And it's smooth. We're not getting into like the sophisticated things that you might have learned in 112 years back. It's very basic. They're focused exams. And for central line, yes, because it's near the heart and directly you could say it's related. The real yield here is I want to check the site for infection. Right? It makes sense. Okay? So in doing that, I'm going to look at this site. If I want to touch, I can touch now. Don't touch after you take the dressing off. I need clean gloves to take the dressing off. I need a mask to take the dressing off. The mask is in the kit. I can't use that mask. I need a different one. Don't wait to put the mask on. You're exposing the patient. The patient should have a mask. The patient should have their head turned. <coughs> so we're going to pretend that I've got my mask on. Okay? That's got his mask on. All right, get your kit. Now, I would have a table, and I would have my table set right here. Right? For today, so you can see me, I'm just going to pretend that my table and we're going to pretend that that's our field so you can see me, okay? So with that in mind, check the kit, check the expiration. Same thing we did with the NG kit. Check the integrity. From there, I'm looking to see what's in it. It's latex free, which is good. I want to make sure it's not latex allergy. Open the kit. Should be what is high. We're going to pretend it is. This mask I'm not going to use. There's a lot of waste that goes on in this kit. I'm going to introduce the bio patch. You have thick bio patches that you can introduce to your kit so that they're sterile. It's a drop. From there, I need the gloves. So I'm going to reach in. Just take the gloves. Don't touch anything else. I'm going to put the gloves on. And it would be on the end of my table. Not on the patient's pelvis as you're seeing right now. Mm -hmm. Doing the best I can with the limited space here. Sterile gloving, we're checking you out probably three times on sterile gloving. Foley, central line, and trach care. Now these gloves always, always are stuck together. Sometimes the way to troubleshoot it is just to start to put it on and it will work for you. If not, bring your own sterile gloves. You can use them if you don't like the gloves that are in the kit. So this is going to work for me. And the gloves should be their palm up, right? From here, the only thing I'm going to use from this kit is the bio patch, flower cut, to clear adhesive dressing. Pop this. Oh, what did I forget to do? So what would happen in this scenario? It started. We'd have to start all over. Mm -hmm. So it's clean gloves, take dressing off, dump it, change sterile gloves. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Okay. But you all let me do it. Because I'm trying to be fast. Get it so that you stick to practice. So, in recap. Yeah, and she's rolling it, just and she's starting it. And now she's taking it off, she's taking it all off from the outer edges to the center. She's got her clean gloves on. That's a girl. She's rolling. And that goes right in her dirty gloves. She can continue to look at the site, and I'm coming in sterile now. Has everybody got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. If that happens to you in real world for our checkout purposes, if you told me that, that would be acceptable. As long as you caught yourself for what you would need to do. Scrub, scrub, scrub 30 seconds vigorously. Now, chloroprep, if you, I don't know if you know it, but chlorhexidine has alcohol and chloroprep in it. And so
So chlorhexidine says that you scrub for 30 seconds backward and forward motions, no concentric circles. So 30 seconds scrub, happy birthday twice, and then release. This goes over here, crash. Check out for a we're not gonna have you engage the lollipop, it takes too long to dry. But in real world, you engage the lollipop, you scrub for 30 seconds, you allow it to dry, and then you proceed to put your bio patch on, okay? So the bio patch is from this guy, you'll do this guy. That's the way you put it on. Your fake bio patches have the uh, cardboard so that they don't actually fold well for you. But in real life, the bio patch folds like this, so it has a little bit of a split. So when you go to put it on, you put it on, and it envelops. You see how it just seals around there. The split direction should go in the direction the line's coming out. So when you took it off, if you notice, it came off as a unit. Mm -hmm. If I had twisted it around like this, put the gauze on, put the pegoderm on, you see how it would be sandwiched and it would come off. So that, that's a key thing. And you're gonna learn that in practice because it, you don't wanna have dirty fingers down at the site trying to separate gauze from sponge, okay? So it should go in the direction. Hand, this hand is the committed hand, this hand is still the cleanest of the hands. This part now is gonna be to put this on. From the center, out. Get good seal, no air pockets. This line is not placed anatomically correct. We would never place a line on a nipple. <laughs> so we're just gonna pretend that that doesn't exist. You know, the line should be much higher, mm -hmm. like right there. I'm not sure why the line's down there, but anyway. Okay. Now I can take this and put my date and time on it, and it's dressed. So I'm gonna note the characteristics of the site. I'm gonna note how the patient tolerated the procedure and date and time.